Hey guys, we are back to check out another video. This time we are going to check and see have we been brainwashed about India? I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. And uh, yeah, this has been another one that we, we've had a lot of requests for. It's uh, what's up, buddy? Uh, it's for uh, Carolina Gos. Uh, I guess, guess you say her last name is Goswami. We've had a lot of people uh, request that we check out one of, uh, some of her videos. So this one we're going to do the let's check see if you're brainwashed about India. Uh, but I want to give a real quick shout out. We've had a lot of people request it, but I, I want to give a specific shout out to I uh, please I hope I pronounce it right to Oye Shrenik from Instagram. We've been communicating back and forth a lot. He's helped us out a whole, a whole bunch with uh, some stuff on our videos and things like that. So uh, thank you so much for that. I just want to give you a quick shout out for that. But uh, yeah, real quick before uh, before we check out the video, thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving the channel. Uh, and if you're new and you can, hit that like and subscribe. That'd be cool. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get started. It's about a 12 and a half minute video. So let's take a look. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's have a look. Oh, that tongue died. <laughs> Many of you have seen people of Indian origin in your country. How do you perceive them? And how do you perceive India? Many of you think of India as a country of poverty, slums, dirt, rapes, and caste system. And many of you got introduced to India through the famous movie, Slumdog Millionaire. And then there are some of you who know India for its Bollywood, and yoga. Well, it is not entirely your fault that you think this way, and there is no doubt that India does have its imperfections, but India is definitely not what we are shown in our countries. Like many of you, I was also a victim of the mainstream media in my country until I ended up living in India and started to keenly observe this country. And of course, to understand India and its mechanism, one really needs to have fine-tuned senses. Next time you see Indians in your country, remember that their country is being transformed into something like this. However, you are mostly shown only that. And of course, many of you were never told that for many years India has been one of the fastest growing major economies of the world. Are you worried that Indians are stealing your jobs in your countries? No, you are not fully informed. Perhaps you do not know that Indians are also providing thousands of jobs in your country and they are doing it in different parts of the world. There are more than 800 Indian companies in the UK which employ around 110,000 people. In the USA, Indians owned firms employ more than 600,000 employees. Have you noticed that when the media in the West talks about rapes in India, they rarely talk about the rape rate statistics and probably it is because India is nowhere close to the Western countries in rape rate. Yes, I'm aware that while talking about rape, one must consider things like underreporting, marital rape, homosexual rape, false filing, law of rape, conviction rates, and many other factors. And that is why I sincerely recommend you to dig a bit deep into this and analyze where your own country stands before you become a victim of the mainstream or fake stream media. By the way, were you also told that the so-called developed countries do not only have a much higher rape rate, but also their citizens travel abroad to rape the citizens of poor countries. Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand are some of the main sources of international child sex tourists who perform sex crimes in other countries. Were you also told that many Western women travel abroad to enjoy female sex tourism? And it is difficult to believe that the boys who are hired by these rich women are in some cases not underage. India has always been a multicultural society. And yes, in one way or another, discrimination may exist in India too. But wait, which country is crime-free? Is your country crime-free? Is there no discrimination in your country? India is a country where its minorities are allowed to thrive and grow in numbers and also in percentage. India is a country where many Dharma traditions 
like Jainism, Sikhism, Buddhism and Hinduism were born. And the people of India have even accommodated the ideologies and religions that did not originate from their own land. When I first heard of Indian caste system in my country through our media, it was not even mentioned that in India not only the minorities but also the members from those societies which are also known as low caste end up becoming presidents, vice presidents, prime ministers and chief ministers. Has the media in your country told you about this when they talked about Indian caste system to you? Has the media in your country also mentioned that India has already had a female president and a female prime minister? I know that in many so-called developed countries, many low-skilled immigrants from poor countries are purposely and temporarily brought to do low-class and dirty jobs. These poor people are kept in substandard conditions and after the job is finished, they are sent back to their own countries. The developed countries make the most of their strong currencies and their own citizens shy away from doing small jobs. Well, these developed countries are so smart that they perform oppression on the humans that they import and then later, very cleverly, they dispose them. Can we call it exploitation too? Indians are extremely self-critical and they are genuinely concerned about their problems. They do have the intentions to fix their problems and they do not shy away from talking loud against their democratically chosen governments. But you must remember that when Indians talk loud about their problems, it does not mean that they want to replace India for anything else. And it must be pointed out that Indian media has not really started ridiculing the Western countries yet, even though many Western countries love to present themselves as some kind of role models. These Western countries continue to forget that they can also easily be ridiculed for their wealth inequality, crimes, intolerance, rapes, poverty, and even hunger. Perhaps Indians are more interested in self-correction than ridiculing others. For sure, Indians know very well that tragedy is not a competition. Indians are not only providing jobs around the world, they are even feeding many hungry and poor outside India by their philanthropic work through their temples and gurudwaras. And very importantly, they are not expecting anyone to embrace Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism or Hinduism. There is no doubt that India does need to improve its modern waste management infrastructure as many of its streets continue to look dirty even though an average Indian produces far lesser waste than an average American or European. Also, the per capita emissions from India are so low in comparison to the USA or China and Indians are nowhere close to the West when it comes to historical emissions. For all these years, you were told about the poor sanitation of India, but you were never told that Indians were also the pioneers in ancient sanitation system long before the Western countries got civilized. But of course, it shouldn't matter today. Even after 70 years of its independence, India is still not open defecation free. The government of India is running some massive scheme to build millions of toilets and only time will tell if that is going to be enough or not. Not many people know that when it comes to defecation, some citizens in the Western countries have a strange addiction or rather a disorder. And this is where a potential exchange can take place between India and the West. India can bring the latest sanitation system techniques from the West and the West can benefit from the authentic yoga from India that can help those Western citizens who are suffering from such disorders or addictions. But of course, it can only happen if the Western societies are brave enough to address their embarrassing problems and not just sweep them under the rug, as it is very well known 
that such kind of disorders and addictions have been reflecting in the Western adult film industry as well. Not many people know that India has nuclear weapons and it is said that India has the fourth strongest military in the world. But India does not believe in muscle flexing like China or the USA and neither it believes in expansionism. And yes, India is not a world leader in everything. It's not a world leader in earning money by selling weapons. It stands nowhere when it comes to earning money by selling crude oil. However, its space agency, ISRO, does earn money by sending satellites in space for a very cheap price, fulfilling the satellite dreams of poor countries, and also by helping the advanced countries which want to save money. India is not a leader in the porn industry, and neither it is a top destination for sex tourism. Mostly, Indians are just very simple and kind-hearted people, and only some of them know that their land was the richest in the world for thousands of years, and it was gradually pushed into poverty as it was exploited, looted, and colonized by its invaders and colonizers. And these unfortunate victims who have just tasted their independence after centuries of oppression and atrocities are finally rebuilding their country in an extremely democratic environment that may slow down things a bit for them, but at least their system attempts to involve everyone in the rebuilding of their nation. The good news is that India's rise is unlikely to cause any country a demographic trouble, as India's dharmic institutions are not interested to convert you from your religions. Not just that, we are not really going to face any brown supremacy, even though Indians themselves come in all skin colors and features. It is also highly unlikely that Indians will hate you, even though many of you may have developed prejudices against them because of the mainstream media houses, which for some special reasons are overplaying and sensationalizing their problems. Indians are gentle, accommodating, compassionate, hospitable, and yes, they do not have a fake smile. Their smiles are still very real. And most importantly, they are forgiving. Look how they even welcome the people from the land of their ex-colonizers in their country, even today. Before you comment on India, remember that the countries which were never colonized will not easily understand what it means to suffer from a post-colonial identity crisis. India may have its imperfections, and in this process of rebuilding, it will make its share of mistakes, and it will learn from them. Perhaps we also need to learn how to build a relation with Indians on equal terms, with mutual respect, without feeling superior or inferior while focusing a bit more on ourselves to address our own embarrassing problems. See you again. Oh. That, um, there was a lot definitely of learned a lot from that. Uh, let, me, let me just say that, yeah, this will probably be that while the video is playing the most, the least amount we've ever said or anything during the video because there's a lot of information being uh, portrayed and given out during that video and and so any time to really stop and like say anything about what we're seeing you just miss we just miss information that's being said so uh, yeah I know we'll probably get some people commenting like ah oh, you didn't really react to that but hey we're listening we're listening to it we're, we're trying to pay attention to what's being said and learn some stuff but uh, yeah there was a um, definite like she said you know what country doesn't have any crime like none like every country's got crime and all that and and it had been, like I said, until until we had been um, kind of opened up to this and, and had people suggest we check out some stuff. Yeah, for the most part, my my idea of India was like the dirt roads, huts. Like it was basically stuff you'd you'd seen from Hollywood. And I'm, I've mentioned this before, like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm -hmm. That India where it's just you know they're all living in these tiny villages and and there's all these. Um, 
crazy cult like things going on and you you know you kind of had this like they said through the media and film india was kind of always portrayed as like a dirty country yeah. and what we've learned these past you know couple months getting into all this is it's not it's a very gorgeous country and yeah you know, like they said every you know every there's still stuff that can be you know fixed or some stuff that they can get you know a little bit better and all that but that's what that's what that with uh, every country um uh, but yeah what did you guys the did video you more did get down really pretty uh, there have some pretty images in there of India. Mm. Their temp, their like temples or their um, their buildings, in the landscape was really pretty. But um, I like how they said uh, India doesn't produce as much waste as us. Like I kind of figured yeah. that because they just seem. It was. Did you did you notice on the graph? It was like you know India is like at the bottom. You see U.S. and all that, and at the very top it was like Kuwait was like almost yeah. double everybody yeah. else. I'm like as Every soon as time. I saw that bar, I was like, who's at the top? I was like, oh my god, it was Kuwait. Like they were. And they're a much smaller country, aren't they, than we are? Kuwait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're pretty small. And they said how oh, Indians are just really like caring and nice. And they stuff. are, and that's you know what that's um. I have quick, to agree with you. Yeah, but um, before I kind of go on more to that, Troy, anything else on that video you kind of picked up on? Uh, well, um, I how you were saying before, I've always thought India is like the dirty, like the dirt road and all that stuff because that's how that's what we learned in school basically. That's what they taught us in school. There was a lot of stuff on that I didn't really understand just because I'm not that I'm not old, like old enough to understand it yet because I'm just going to high school. So there's lots of that I'm not really certain what it meant. But overall, it was a pretty good video. Yeah, I had a lot of good information. Yeah. Um, like I said, we had a little, basically from the start, we've had people recommend that we watch that. Mm -hmm. We kind of just got overwhelmed. And uh, uh, But yeah, I wanted, I wanted to mention they said very nice and kind. Um, that's why I keep telling you guys in the videos, like, thank you so much for everything. You, Personally, like it's been some of the most kind people I've ever talked to. Yeah. Whether yeah. it is in the comments on YouTube or those who I've talked to on Twitter or Instagram, um, but just like with everything, we do have we do we have had some like there's been a few that had said some very hateful stuff. Um, some people don't like the fact that we're reacting to Indian stuff, or they look at it. I've said some people comment that oh we're just doing it for the money and views and subscribers. And, and no, like we we started this channel, not even planning on watching India stuff because we didn't, you know, we didn't really know a lot of the stuff was out there. And then we just happened to get a request for the movie Lucifer, and then ever since then, um, you guys have just been blowing us away, like yeah. with the uh, requests and all that. So, <clears throat> you know, and it's and it's been opening us up. You know, there's stuff we've learned and seen and all that we we would have never even have come across. Um, but I will say this too, though, a lot of the ones that do, and it's a very, very small minority of, of comments have, have been negative. Uh, but I do try to interact with them as well. And through some back and forth, most of them we've, we've been able to, um, um, end up on friendly terms. Like I kind of explain where we're coming from, what we're doing and all that. And it, and it kind of seems like maybe they're, they're just used to maybe seeing foreigners react to stuff and like, oh, they're just doing it for this reason. And then I, I'll kind of explain to them what we're doing. And it kind of seems like, it, you know, with a few back and forths that uh, we're pretty friendly with, with each other at the end. So, uh, but you guys are, have been extremely kind um, and loving. And we just thank you guys so much for all of that. Um, let us know what you guys think of Caroline uh, Goswami and that video in particular, uh, what your guys' thoughts of that are. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for everything. We love you.